A poultry farmer in Isoka district who has done agroeconomy has urged youths to be innovative. Moses Simuawa says youths should not depend on government to employ them after completing colleges or universities, but to engage in other different activities such as farming, businesses, and other things which can improve their standard of living. He says it is noted that most of the youths who benefited from presidential empowerment fund have not used the funds properly. So I can encourage those youths who are the school leavers who finish the talk and those who had an opportunity to go to colleges, universities and they are done with school, that they should not only stay, they should also think outside the box. There is a lot of opportunities in, in, in our country, especially in China province, a lot of resources which are not, not utilized. So they can come up with the idea not only looking for the government to employ them, but also looking on how they can invent the market and create something like this. There's a lot of things they can create. See? Just be creative and innovative. Mr. Smoawa says after completing his course, he has been doing poetry, farming, and he has created employment to other youths. Uh, it took time to be where I am now, uh, but uh, we are, I'm doing well, I'm doing, I'm doing nice. Well, what I like is that uh, I'm, I'm doing what I like, and I also want to my fellow youths, other youths outside uh, there to, to be inspired what I'm doing. Uh, in fact, I don't do this for, for my own personal gain or for my personal wealth. Uh, I do this also to inspire the people outside there. When I uh, invite the, the, the youths and friends to come in uh, to see what you're doing here. Richard Simbaya in Isoka district of Muchinga province.